Hi, how are you doing today? Thank you for joining. I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, Hamutal Yitzak, the CEO of Else Nutrition, otherwise known as Baby. How are you doing today, Hamutal? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Else Nutrition has been a huge success story for our community. We did an interview about a year ago when we started learning about your story and this company. And at the time, the stock was at like 30 cents. We've seen it go as high as $3.40, which is 10 times growth for investors. Right now, the stock is sitting at around $2.20 and has been a huge success story for our community. And I'm sure you guys are very excited about the progress you're having as well. So we're excited to have you back on the show. So congratulations on your success, first and foremost. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're so excited to be here with you again. Yeah, and we're excited to have you. And we need to do this more often. So what I want to do is I want to go a little bit through Else Nutrition, and then I'm going to ask you some questions. So first and foremost, Else Nutrition is an Israeli-based food and nutrition company that is developing plant-based food and nutrition products for infants, toddlers, children, and adults. Over the past year, Else has been working hard to develop its brand and award-winning globally patented products and launch them into North American market and ramp up its manufacturing efforts to meet expected demand. Now, Else Nutrition has gained some serious traction in the market, which we talked about over the last year. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the recent strategic investments into the company? Sure, absolutely. So um, Age and Age Group, our strategic investors, is on its way to become a global leader in advanced baby and adult nutrition and care and a premium quality vitamins and supplements um, uh, company, uh, which are the two core businesses of the group. Um, through their international presence, they have grown to um, have four brand centers in Australia, China, France, and United States, and four R&D centers um, also in China, France, Ireland, and Australia. And they are listed on the uh, Hong Kong Stock Exchange, have a market cap of about two almost $3 billion and um, with an annual revenue of uh, $1.5 billion in uh, 2019. Um, they have increased their stake in ELS in the recent uh, funding to more than 11% and, and are a great partner to have as they can always support us with the operational needs of whether it be manufacturing, R&D, regulation, marketing and distribution and on top of investing into us, they are also engaged with us on a, a distribution uh, MOU to market and distribute ELS portfolio in their core territories, which I've already mentioned. And so we currently are finalizing our penetration plan into Europe through their French operation. And uh, while also started recently to build a marketing strategic plan for the Chinese cross-border platform to sell our Euro product, US products into China. Wow. Through their robust operations on that platform. China is actually the largest market in the infant nutrition space. It's almost half of the market. So it's a very lucrative market for us. And we are looking forward to start doing business there. Now, you officially launched your ELSE plant based complete toddler nutrition to the US market in August. Can you tell us more about your US launch strategy? Sure, so um, we're already selling, as you said, the toddler complete nutrition online and on our e-store and then on our Amazon store. And we'll be rolling out in the retail space within the end of this, by the end of this year. So I'll be telling about that in the, the next questions. Um, but um, we will be launching additional products such as kids nutritional drink and a six month product as uh, soon, uh, I think it will be in Q4, Q1 of uh, 2021. Um, additionally, um, on our innovation pipeline, uh, we also have a breakthrough plant-based uh, clean label infant formula for babies from zero to 12 months, which is anticipated to launch in approximately two years, but it's currently on its pathway for an FDA approval. Wow. So regarding our launch strategy or our slash go to market uh, strategy, we focus on three target groups, which we have identified while researching the North American market during the past year, um, the vegans and flexitarians, the allergic or intolerant families, and the, I call them 
healthy progressive consumers, those who know all about every ingredient on the label and prefer to have as little ingredients as possible to their foods. So these groups are our early adapters and we will see the great traction. We already see the great traction and the great acceptance of the brand and, and the concept amongst them. They're also our ambassadors as they keep pitching our story to their friends and family. So what we're doing is we're helping them to do that using a very big community of influencers and in the plant-based and parenting space with whom they will be, I mean, they will be promoting the brand enthusiastically as a better for you plant-based baby nutrition choice for parents. And uh, we've engaged with them, our brand ambassador, uh, our crowned brand ambassador, Hilaria Baldwin. Um, she's a tier one influencer. She's a wife of Alec Baldwin and she's a tier one influencer in the parenting and plant-based space, a guru of herself. And she will help Elsa through creative social media and video content that highlights her findings and journey as a plant-based mother. Wow. Uh, after the elections, we will be launching an overarching hero campaign and working very hard on social influential marketing channels to bring else into the U.S. public awareness uh, on a larger scale. Wow, you guys are busy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Else Nutrition also began selling, and I'm really excited about this, its plant-based toddler nutrition formula on Amazon, the largest online marketplace in the world. What is the significance of this launch? Yes, well, Else is expanding into the world's largest online retailer as consumers continue to eat more meals at home and increasingly rely on grocery delivery services uh, is really significant for us. I mean, during COVID, Amazon uh, saw online grocery sales triple year over year during the second quarter of 2020 as more customers continue to get their groceries delivered rather than going to physical store. So selling direct to consumers through online channels, especially Amazon, is a major pillar for Elle's global go-to-market strategy. And furthermore, the company's Amazon store will provide a convenient alternative for parents who prefer, prefer shopping online. Um, we've been getting many requests from, cons uh, from customers who want to purchase our product on Amazon.com. It's also uh, you know, a seal of trust for, for our consumers. Um, this is a tremendous convenience and accessibility boost using the world's largest e-commerce platform as we continue our singular focus to bring novel plant-based clean nutrition to families. Um, yeah. Now, you mentioned a little bit about Hilar Hilara Baldwin, celebrity author, podcast host, and parenting expert, recently joined Else Nutrition as your brand ambassador. How did she get involved with the company? Yeah, so... As a mom who's always like advocated a plant-based lifestyle, um, the collaboration um, originated from Hilaria's own search for a suitable toddler formula alternative for her children. Um, so this is how it all started. She er actually found us online and she approached us um, uh, asking for a sample to use the product. And then she posted, she posted a, about else about using else um, um, just on her own. And then we, we decided uh, to engage. And so she'll help us through, as I said, creative social media and video content. And she really embodies our brand values through her desire to take baby nutrition to the next level with a um, heightened awareness of, for health and wellness. She's a true champion of the cause and, and she met, which makes them beyond excited about this collaboration. Um, so together we hope to raise awareness to the benefits of clean label, plant-based baby nutrition for this generation and the futures and the future ones. I think that's a great addition to the team. Now, do you plan on adding any other celebrities or influencers as brand, amb as brand ambassadors in the coming weeks and months? So we've indeed had interest from celebrities and influencers to work with the, with a brand. We even had some notable names discover the product through world, word of mouth. And that's very, very uh, significant for us. Um, so they've purchased it um, for their little ones. And um, we expect to be able to announce some, some of these, like more formally, some of these names more formally in the coming months. 
Um, and we are considering additional ELSERs to work with us and help spread our mission and work. ELSERs, is that the word for ELSE influencers? Yeah. ELSERs, yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, yes, people, how do you ELSE? How do you, I mean, how do you use ELSE? Do you do it, uh, I mean, just as a drink or you put it in your smoothie or, or your pancake? So we ask people, how do you ELSE? We're, we're kind of uh, using our own. Uh, yeah, language. I like that. That's good. That's catchy. Now, Elsa's has also signed a key distribution agreement with one of the largest and most well-regarded fresh, natural, and organic and specialty food distributors in North America. Can you tell us more about what this means for the company? Yeah, so we've recently announced uh, engagement with Kehi Distributors, which is the one that you've described. Um, Kehi has nearly about 70 years of experience uh, servicing store owners and today has um, a network of over 16 distribution centers ac across North America. Wow. Um, so this agreement will open distribution of ELS groundbreaking plant-based nutrition products to thousands of stores shelves in the United States. Um, distribution of ELS first product plant-based complete nutrition for toddlers will commence in November. Hopefully, yes, we're, it's not only in our, um, on our discretion, it's something that there's some technical uh, procedures to be done, but this is our expectations. And so they're going to take it from the California and Oregon distribution centers. And so actually, um, the, this is, this is the most, the very significant step for else. So it actually opens around 30,000 retail outlets for, for else in wow. potential and um, and it's uh it's it's an employee owned b corp certified company and they supply natural food stores supermarket chains independent grocery stores and other specialty retails across north america through its distribution center so we're actually going to be open to potentially to everybody and we're going to roll out gradually and getting into all those stores and um, hopefully wow that is impressive. When we first started talking about this, I saw the potential, you know, I saw the future potential and we were at like 30 cents and stock is up like 800%. So you guys have been a huge success. And to see you now a year later, see you guys on Amazon raising 25 million, having major influencers involved, ambassadors, it's exciting, super exciting. So what can investors expect next from Else Nutrition? Well, first and foremost, we'll be rolling out into more and more retailers. So this is one expectation, which I believe is the most important for our investors to see our growth and our expansion. And we'll be announcing the um, material listings of the larger nationwide retailers uh, for sure. Uh, there will be several new product launches in the kids space and the baby space, as well as new territories penetrations with age and age, as I just described, and also independently. Um, so this is, these are the milestones that we are anticipating in the next year. Well, I'm excited to see where we're going to be a year from now. It's been an incredible journey so far. If an investor that's watching this wants to get in contact with you, what's the best way for them to reach you? So I just want to say that our investors, along with our customers, are the most important asset of, of else. And so despite the fact that my schedule is fully booked and I think investors want me to be like that and my time is quite limited um, as I'm trying to navigate between the IR needs and the company needs and the operational needs. So, but I've never failed to reply to an, inv an investor even in the latest hours of night or refused getting in touch with any of them. So, so um, if any investor wishes to contact me directly, they can do it through my email, which is hamutalwai at elsenutrition.com. Um, and I'll, I, never fail them, I never fail to answer. That, well, thank you so much for all your time today, Hamutal. Congratulations on all your success. Let's make sure we do this more often, hopefully more than once a year. And anytime you have any big news or breaking news, we'd love to have you on our show. Our community loves Else Nutrition. It's been a huge success story. One of the biggest success stories for our community in the last year. As I said, the stock is up 800%, everyone. So congratulations on all your success. I know that this is really just the beginning for your journey. And I'm super happy to see this in Amazon. And I would love to see more influencers and celebrities get involved in the plant-based 
foods business, which you guys are clearly being a disruptive force in and congratulations on all your success. Thank you guys for watching. I'm here today with our guest, Hamital Yitzhak, the CEO of Else Nutrition, symbol baby in Canada, B-A-B-Y and B-A-B-Y-F in America. Thank you for joining us, Hamital. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to speak about Else and meet you again. Yes, hopefully we get the chance to do it again soon. Thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a nice day.